Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you the first five plugins I install on any new site that I set up on WordPress. So first up, if you watched my last video where I showed you the first five things I do when I install WordPress, you would have seen that I installed a maintenance mode plugin. So that is the first plugin I will install because I'm working on a site and I want the client to see a nice page like this. Now, second of all, if I go to, if I'm in my plugins area and I go add new, uh, now this may not be for everyone, but um, you can see on this page here, it shows you the most, you know, some of the most common plugins that are being used. I like to install a classic editor because I think the blocks setup that they changed to a couple of years ago is just hideous, hideous to use, hideous to understand. I used to get so many complaints from my clients. The classic editor was simple to use, it was fine. It didn't need to be changed in my opinion obviously what you get used to is you know what you get used to so if I go into pages and edit so this is uh, my my classic editor here so plugin number three that I will install is a security plugin like uh, I tend to use WordFence a lot uh, WordFence works really well it's, it's, it's lightweight iTheme Security is another security plugin you can use, which works quite well. Now the fourth plugin I will install will be an SEO plugin like Yoast SEO. Because your SEO practices, you want to start while you're building the site as well. So um, this is a great SEO plugin. Now the next plugin I'll install is a contact form plugin like WP Forms or if you like something more old school and simple contact form 7 but basically uh, yeah you need your, your call to action you need your contact form on your website WP forms super easy to use now there are other plugins that I obviously would install depending on what you're trying to achieve with your website I would definitely look at installing a caching plugin. I don't like to do that in the early stages when you're still building the site because when you're making all these changes and updates, uh, it can get confusing when you go and look at the site and things aren't there. Yeah, that's the first five I start with. I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.